I'm Melinda. I'm from Richfield, and I am married with two two boys. And I came to the weight loss clinic to live longer, be healthier, and spend more time with family. Before surgery, um, I had trouble getting around. Um, I had trouble fitting in all the seats, being on the amusement rides with my kids, um, getting winded, having asthma and bronchitis every winter. It was a lot of physical things. Um, it was also a lot of emotional things where people would look at you a certain way, make judgments about you, um, about me, you know, and about my life. And I always just felt really self-conscious. I didn't feel comfortable in my skin. I didn't feel comfortable with people, really. Um, it was tough. Well, I had been a very chubby child and very concerned and a it was an uncomfortable situation being being heavy as a kid. And then in high school, I thinned out a little bit. I was very active. Um, I did a sport. And when I went to college, it just all started to pack on. So um, I was about 20 years of being very heavy. And um, I kind of had decided it didn't bother me. I tried to pretend like it didn't bother me. And... Um, I remember there was a day where I was walking around the lake with my husband, and we walked very slowly, but we really loved walking on the lake. And I had a, a realization while I was talking to him that um, losing weight wasn't, for me, wasn't anymore going to be about fitting into cuter clothes or being more comfortable. It was actually about living longer. And it was sort of a horrible moment <laughs> to go, because it always been about... Um, superficial things in a way and it was like this is a health problem this is this is not okay and I want to be around for a long time for my family and for my kids not too much long after um, someone dear to me in my family had some pretty serious health problems that were related to or exacerbated by being very heavy because it runs in my family and it scared me and um I saw in the newspaper, in this, the local newspaper that comes to your house, um, a little ad for there's a free session to come see what weight loss surgery was about. And I was very skeptical, but I was also sort of like, it's free, you know, it's, it's nearby, I'll go check it out. And my husband stayed home with our kids, and I actually brought my mother with me, and we went to the information session. And it was actually in this room, and we listened to what the procedure was like, and we listened to what the outcomes were. And um, I'm a finance person. Uh, that's what I do for a living. And they started throwing up the statistics and the numbers, and that's kind of when it hit me. Um, there were some really scary numbers about dying at like eight years earlier than you should. There were numbers about if anyone had tried to lose a certain amount of weight, the success rate after five years was something like 1%, because I always figured if I just worked at it harder, because I'd done everything. I'd tried every diet, I'd lost a lot of weight, I'd gained a lot of it back, and I thought, if I just tried a little harder, I'm a strong person, I should be able to manage this. And when they threw those numbers up, and I have a, a numbers brain, <laughs> I, that's when I made my decision. And then I had to work through how to make it happen. It was a hard struggle to convince my husband um, because he was not real fond of the idea of surgery. Um, you know, I have two small children I had at the time, and he was like, you know, if something happens to you, I'm left with these kids. And so we kind of talked it through that if I didn't do something, something was going to happen to me, um, maybe not right this minute. But so that's how we decided. And, and he's definitely on board, but it, it took some conversation because he just kept saying, I love you. I've always loved you the way you are. We don't need to change this. But it, it, it definitely was a struggle to make that change. He was heavy too, not, not as heavy as I was, but he, um, over the course of recovery and learning how to do new things instead of spend so much time uh, we say we don't eat for fun anymore. Now we bike or we we do some jogging or running. We um, are outside. We're just, uh, we do karaoke. We do all sorts of other things. And um, he was so supportive and so on board that he helped with the changing of the meals and figuring that out. And he helped 
be encouraging. And he started to sort of live the same lifestyle I was living instead of the old lifestyle. So he's actually lost 50 pounds and kept it off. And I've um, kept off 100 pounds. So that's sort of my maintenance from the surgery. So between us, we've lost an entire person in our relationship. <laughs> I think it worked for me because I was more than ready. I was very tired of where I was. Um, I think it worked for me because I had a supportive partner. I think it would have been much, much harder had I been in a household where people were still maintaining the old strategies. Um, and I think it worked for me because I made it a focus for a really long time. I decided this is what I'm going to do. And it has its inconveniences. There's lots of things that you have to do differently than other people. But whenever I get cranky about sort of the, the things I have to go through after surgery, I think about this is not as bad as where I was going. And so I, I feel good about my choice. I, I don't regret doing it at all. I'm, it's no regrets in terms of the surgery at all. It was difficult to, to get through, I would say, the first six months in particular was very, very, it was a struggle and it was hard. And um, I know a lot of people like to say this is the easy way out and it's not easy. <laughs> um, but no, I don't regret it at all. We definitely um, are much more active with the two, two small boys, medium-sized boys. Um, we did things that we never did before. Like we went on the Cannon River bike trail and we biked 20 miles. And um, we never, I never would have ridden a bike just for comfort and embarrassment and everything like that. My bike was in the garage for years. So we would dust everything off. We went biking. We, um, we went camping, which I never, I'm still not a huge fan, but we went camping um, every summer now for the last four summers. Um, and just there's so much more we can do. We, we hike. Um, we're just very much more active family. And, and I'm, I'm glad for that. I'm glad that that they can see me be active. I wish I had done it earlier. That's the other thing when we're all talking together in the group about do you have regrets and nobody nobody has regrets except that we wish I had done it earlier. Because I was extremely heavy for 20, almost 20 years. And I look back at those 20 years and I wish they were different. And I wish that I had known about this then. So that's really my only regret. I'm Melinda, and I go to Fairview Southdale Weight Loss Clinic, and we're getting better together.